Hey, what's up my Koopa Troop? It's Koops and welcome back to some more Plants vs. Zombies mini game. We're now on the Vase Breaker this time around here. And this is the same as we've done before where you break the vases and hope for the best. So, you just go ahead and tap on them. We got a squash right there, a regular zombie, and another zombie. Now the squash won't do me a whole lot of good. This actually will, so I messed up. Didn't want to plant it in the back. Squash still won't do me a whole lot of good. Plant that there. I gotta use it before it disappears though, so I'll go ahead and plant it down there. This will kill one of these guys at the very least, if not two of them. It worked out perfectly. That other one will probably make it in time, so I might not worry about that one. As well as there was no zombies there. So now I can go ahead and plant these two right here. I will plant that there just for uh, confirmation. Especially because there's that zombie that's going to die right there. And this guy's really going to die right here. More vases incoming. That was one of three waves. That was the start. That was pretty easy right there. You can see we now have a bunch of vases. The green ones obviously have a plant in them right away. The other ones are hit or miss on what you're going to get. I'll plant that there. That should kill both of these guys. Nice. All right, I'll see if I get any zombies in this lane. No, I got a lucky lane right there. I'll go ahead and plant one of these here. One of these I'll probably plant down there just for safety. One there and one there. Now remember, I know that there's no, it's just a plant in that one up there, which is why I'm not worried about it too much. Go ahead and plant one of these here. I keep planting these in that one right there because as I, as I break more and more of the pots, I know there's gonna be less and less zombies in that lane. So I know that one zombie's screwed. That zombie's screwed. This zombie could be screwed and yep. So I know these guys are all screwed right there. So I'll go ahead and do like that. So there's round two, one. It's just, you gotta be a little bit smart. I like these ones because you gotta be a little bit smart about where you plant the stuff. I'm not the greatest at these mini games, but they're fun nonetheless. You can see I've now got quite a lot of firepower going there and that zombie eventually died to the squash. All right, so now we got round three coming in here. I'll go ahead and tap. I always tap on the back ones first. That way, if it is a zombie, I have more time to react to the zombie itself, which is why, that's why I start from where I start. All right, this guy should probably be enough to handle, or that will be enough to handle those two for sure. All right, I'll go ahead and plant that down there, because, I, like I said, these, let's say the third lane, for example. There are five vases. One of them definitely has a plant. Now, that fourth lane, there are five vases. I don't know what's in them, which is why I went ahead and planted that down there. That won't be enough to kill that guy. I really don't need these uh, hypno shrooms, but he probably won't die in time, so I will go ahead and plant that there. I'm going to go ahead and plant that here. That zombie can fight that zombie. Plant one here, plant one here, there. All right, so I will win in that lane because my zombie's got a bucket and that guy does not, so he went ahead and lost. Disco zombie is going to go ahead and slow down, and then he's going to go ahead and eat all the stuff. Now, unfortunately for me, that one zombie is in the middle of a lane where there's nothing else, but I will go ahead and kill him like that. Now we got a bunch of zombies all doing everything. I'm not sure. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. I got zombies dancing one way, zombies dancing another way. And it's kind of hectic around here. I will go ahead and make sure this zombie dies right there. I don't want him to survive. And I think we've got the victory now. There was a lot of zombies dancing every which way, which ends up being pretty funny. But, you know, we... Uh, <laughs> We ended up winning nonetheless. So there we go, guys. That's Vase Breaker. That's kind of a simple version of the mini game. There's actually a more complicated, convoluted version of this game that we'll play later on. So don't mind the fact that this was so short and just a little, little tidbit, because really that's just showing you kind of Vase Breaker. You can play a whole lot more Vase Breaker coming up, and we will be doing that later. So don't worry about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll be working on buttered popcorn next. Till then, take it easy. Peace.